What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network here on a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install and use the peer-to-peer -peer decentralized exchange, the BISC network. We have, in the past shows, talked about how to install it and how to throw out all of the shitcoins in the settings. And now let's talk about how to import and set up a new account which you can use for your trading. Uh, so let me share my screen right here. And we are in the account tab right here on top. And there are no national currency accounts yet. Uh, and we can add one. And thus, of course, we first have to select what of the many payment methods we want to use in order to buy Bitcoin. The thing is that fiat currencies suck. <laughs> and it's really uh, difficult to make sure that the payment is completely done and irreversible. And thus, all these payment methods that you see here um, are those that are rather irreversible. That is, that it is rather difficult uh, for a malicious attacker to reverse the payment. The beautiful thing with Bitcoin is that you don't have to worry about this, because once you have signed and broadcast the transaction, it's gone and it won't come back. Uh, so we have, we're having some trouble here with fiat. Uh, that's why it's good that you're selling it and buying Bitcoin. Um, for example, if you are in the Euro zone, which I am, um, then you can use here the SEPA transfer. Uh, there is, I think for, for America, it is, uh, what was it? Um, not money, grand national bank transfer, I think. I'm not sure which is the best way for doing this with US dollar. Uh, not sure, uh, but we will just use the same, uh, or we will just use SEPA. And so for the account here, oh, by the way, we are on testnet, uh, so I'm not going to dox my, uh, my stuff here, but the testnet is here, I mean, we're clearly uh, Satoshi Nakashimoto, um, and this is our EVAN address, and we can also get a, uh, I think that is a, that should be at least uh, right here, um, a big, oh no, that's not a correct bit. So this one should be one. Yes, that is a correct one. Um, and the, the, this account, so your IBAN address, your bank identification uh, number, and then you can select uh, from in which country this bank is at. Uh, well, this one is a German IBAN address, uh, a fake one. Uh, so don't send money there. And you can choose which uh, currency you want. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Then you also can um, select the countries from which you accept a trade. So uh, Spain, uh, the Netherlands, France. Um, and you can also accept other non-Euro countries like the Czech Republic. Uh, there is, for the initial couple of days, there is a limitation. Um, for the uh, six days, for the first six days, you can only trade 0 0.06 Bitcoin. Um, and because this account is completely new, uh, this means that this is for now um, our limit. Uh, this also is a security measure uh, because if you have, for example, and uh, if you have a malicious actor just creating accounts out of nowhere, uh, then he could just maybe uh, steal your money. Uh, so this is one of the many security measures employed in BISC uh, to prevent DDoS attacks. Uh, so if you want to transact higher volumes, you have to wait a week, which is, in my opinion, completely reasonable. You can also set this as your uh, custom uh, account um, if you want to use the same account repeatedly. Uh, we click on Save Account, and here a little prompt that uh, the bank transfers, again, carry a, a risk of chargebacks. Fiat currencies suck, and this is one of the many reasons. And therefore, uh, here again, we see it, uh, the exact days um, where your per trade limit is uh, well, limited. For the first month, 0 0.0625 Bitcoin. For the second month, 0 0.125 Bitcoin. And after the second month, you can trade up to 0 0.25 Bitcoin. I mean, that's still 25 million Satoshis, right? Uh, so you, you can become a Satoshi multimillionaire uh, even on the first day, which is cool. Of course, we understand that, that's a security measure. And here then also comes the important uh, warning that we really, really, really should back up our Bitcoin wallet. And we will do this uh, right now as well. Uh, 
Uh, really, really important. Okay, and that's it. Uh, that's how easy that we have created uh, a, uh, a account here uh, where we can use for buying and selling Bitcoin. It's important that the account name, the account holder, is correct uh, because, well, uh, no, you need to verify that the money is actually coming from uh, the person that is using this account. Um, and again, this data is stored locally on your device, so you're not going to share this information with anyone else other than the trading partner and potentially the arbitrator, which we're going to talk much more about in the future. Um, and again, that's uh, pretty much it. So this way you can securely set up uh, your SEPA information, which is only um, transmitted and uh, shared with your trading partner. The same you can do for all coins, but I'm not going to go into this here in this video, maybe in the future one. Um, and you can also uh, download the mobile app here and get notifications. Uh, this is something that we will uh, do in the future. Um, and so stay tuned for this. Um, you also really, 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 as soon as you put funds on here, should set up and uh, a wallet password uh, so that the wallet is actually protected. Um, we will do this right here. Uh, it is too short. Okay, minimum of eight characters. Um, that is uh, that is nice. So make sure that you have a secure password and write it down. Okay, passwords, pen and paper. Uh, that is really a good way of backing it up. And every time you enter the wallet, you will have to type in this password. A uh, good in that sense that uh, even if a malicious uh, attacker has access to your hardware, uh, he still cannot use the Bitcoin that you put here onto this hot wallet. Right. So gotta be secure, really. And we're going to set this password here. And now we can also do uh, a backup of the mnemonic words, uh, of the mnemonic seed, the 24 English words. And it asks us if we really want to do this. Uh, so triple check if, is nobody behind me? I, I hope not. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm in a co-working space, so you always have to be careful. Uh, and yes, we really want to uh, see these words. Um, Okay, and here, these are the 12 words, uh, which are uh, the wallet seed for, for a testnet wallet, and there's, there's no test coin, but testnet Bitcoin on there. Um, but this here uh, uh, is the wallet backup, and you also see the date on which the wallet uh, has been created. You could also type in here another mnemonic seed, uh, which you could then use to import a wallet. Okay, so always, 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 write down and back up uh, your wallets and preferably do so with a wallet password beforehand um, so that it is encrypted. I'm not sure if this is the encrypted, um, the encrypted seed, uh, which you can encrypt or decrypt with your wallet password, uh, or if this is truly the, uh, the unencrypted uh, clear text of the Bitcoin private keys. Uh, then further, what you can and should do is locally back up uh, the entire wallet data. So that's not just the mnemonic seed uh, for your wallet itself, uh, but also, for example, information like your national currency account um, and your trade history uh, and uh, the, the reputation that goes along with them. So it's always nice to um, select a local backup uh, and then encrypt this data um, uh, because it does not come in, uh, encrypted here. Uh, and make sure that you store that on, for example, a secure USB stick uh, that you put then in your local safe. Uh, of course, you can also load a backup uh, if you want to import um, your history of trades uh, into a new hardware, into a new wallet interface. And Pierce, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's as easy as you can set up an account here in BISC. Uh, no, this information here of the national account, your name and your IBAN and the, uh, the BIC is really only going to be shared um, with your hardware and the hardware of uh, your trading partner. Uh, and this is not on any server. This is not on BISC's server because there is no BISC server. You are the BISC server. <laughs> uh, also, as always, make sure that you have a secure wallet password and a, that you back up your mnemonic C. That is of utmost importance. Uh, and as a nice add-on, especially when you, uh, uh, when you reset your hardware device, make sure that you have a sufficient wallet backup.
Peers, uh, that's it. That's it. as easy as you can set up a account. And you can already now uh, start buying Bitcoin at the limited quantity. Uh, or you can wait for uh, one month, two months, three months until you have the unlimited power of uh, getting rid of all your fiat as fast as possible. Because uh, you should. Hyperinflation is not a joke. <laughs> well, Pierce, thank you very much for joining me again on this tutorial on how to set up an account uh, on the BISC network, uh, which is truly a marvelous, beautiful marketplace uh, where you can trustlessly and rather anonymously uh, buy and sell Bitcoin. Uh, so, Pierce, thank you very much for joining and see you on the next show. Bye bye.